Hey guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video is going to be this eyeshadow tutorial right here. Okay guys, I just created this look, which I think it kind of turns out kind of cool. I'm utilizing a couple multi-chrome shades and I really think like it came out pretty cool. So I want to recreate it on this eye and put it on my YouTube archive as per usual. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I already primed my eyes with the Mirror Skin Complexion Stick. All right, I am taking the shade Aurora. This really pretty purple shift kind of bronze color. And I want to put it on the end of my eyes. Okay, so if you do have hooded eyes, another tip, make sure you open your eyes all the way up like this so you can kind of see where the wing goes but sometimes i feel like if you do this and then you do this you know like the shape will change it will be a little different so sometimes just to avoid the messiness it's a little things that i notice sometimes you know when i'm doing this type of a wing situation And I'm kind of like flipping the brush like this as I go. And then I flip and wing it out. And then I'll go out and then I'll I'll go back out and look straight, you know, to see if I like the shape, if the shape kind of goes. Right? And now I will just dip it into some more and kind of fill it like this, fill it up like this first I'm not going all the way yet because we're putting another color in the center alright, next I am taking this palette from Odin's Eye it's called the Norns Norns palette I'm taking this shade called Glamour this really pretty sparkling like a fiery orange shade I'm not using any glitter primer, I'm just I'm going to pack it on and bring it higher another trick is like you basically create like an illusion for a bigger eyes your eye shape just doesn't ever really change but you can create that illusion right so I highly highly recommend especially if you're doing like a really sparkly look try to pull the color a little higher the color a little higher so you can you know create that illusion that you have a lot of space on your eyes okay I'm just gonna pack some more of the orange just make sure it's kind of intense doesn't need to be perfect but I'm just packing the color on just make sure you bring it above the crease okay like up high all right, next I'm layering over the shade called Solar Ray. I, f I find that um, the one from Angelica's Hella palette, that is kind of a similar type of a multi-chrome. And I am going to layer the one from Angelica. This double-sided. I'm going to use my finger and pat it over. And double sided okay now we have the second shade down you can you can see we're still missing a little bit of the color here because I kind of did this side a little bit of like on the two-thirds part where I stopped so I'm gonna go back to the shade Aurora and I want to kind of connect this missing part here like that right just making sure that the pigment is intense and I'm sweeping inwards 
Okay, now I am going back to Norn's palette. I'm taking this really pretty shade, Pink Camelon. It's giving like pink, um, gold, green, orange type of a vibe. I'm not using any glitter primer. I probably should. It's one of those like iridescent multi-chrome shade. It's just not as intense, but... Once you build it up, it is very pretty. And I'm taking it above the inner crease here and try to hug and create that shape for the hood. This is such a pretty shade. I'm going to show you guys maybe later um, with a better lighting so maybe you guys can see what it looks like and let's move on to the lower lash line hey you guys so for the lower lash line i'm dipping back into the shade aurora if you don't have any multi-chrome color and you really want to create recreate this look just take take your dual chrome or take your purpley metallic shadow you can create this look too you know doesn't have to be using what I'm using. I'm lightly packing the color on just using the side of the brush. Like that. All right, I'm whipping out my glitter primer because the shade I'm going to use is very crumbly. I'm going to the shade Rose Water and I am going to town. The shade. It's like a mermaid type of a scale color. Let me add some more here because why not? Whew! That is pretty. Basically, I kind of section it as like three different sections for the lower lash line. I'm taking, taking this shade called Amethyst. I'm packing Amethyst in the center over the multi chrome. And I'm, I went into the shade Star Ruby just for this, the end of the lower lash and I pulled it out ever so slightly. If you want to be more defined on the outer V, you can take a Ariel A16, a like a very thin angle brush. And what I do is I just add Star Ruby I added the shade, Star Ruby, on the outer corner lower lash line. I just wing it out a little bit and wing it up to kind of create a little bit of an extension of the eyes. Okay, so for that final touch, I'm taking the shade Morganite and packing that on the inner corner just to make it pop. Just to make it a little more intense, you know? And I'm taking a little bit of that Morganite shade and pop it on a brow bone. Okay, finally I'm taking the multi-chrome liner from She Glam. It is their chromosome multi-chrome liner in the shade vertigo this liner actually goes on really really smooth okay you guys i'm back with the finished look I'm currently just testing out this foundation finally testing out a new foundation yeah this is the finished look Really, really love how this look came out. I hope you guys enjoy this look as well. You guys let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna do a flash on... I swear, every time the face ID just does not recognize me after makeup. That's serious, y'all. Such a fun look.
Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments if you guys like this eye look. If you want more in-depth tutorial on how to achieve um, certain looks with my eye shape, comment down below, let me know. And let me know if you like this look. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really, really love for you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.